Hi, I am Dr. Spurti, Associate Consultant, Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield, Bangalore. Today, I am going to talk about cervical cancer vaccination. Cervical cancer is the second most commonest cancer among women following the breast cancer. It is caused by human papilloma virus. There are various methods like pap smear, HPV DNA testing and so on. Yes, there is a method to prevent the cervical cancer. Human papilloma virus infection is the very commonest sexually transmitted disease which can occur both in men and women. It causes cancers of cervix, vagina, vulva, anus, esophagus and also genital warts. Broadly, HPV virus are categorized into two categories, high-risk HPV and low-risk HPV. High-risk HPV infection include the serotypes of 16, 18 and so on, whereas the low-risk include the 6, 11, 42, 43. Cervical cancer vaccine will prevent all these infections and cancers. It is given intramuscularly as scheduled doses. There are three types of vaccines available currently in the market, the bivalent, quadrivalent and the nanovalent. It is ha having the best efficacy if it is taken between 9 to 25 years of age. After 25 years up to 45 years it has shown less benefits. It is called catch-up vaccination more than 45 years, however, it has no much benefit. The dosage of the vaccination would be from 9 to 14 years, it should be given in two doses, 0 and 2. 0 would be the first dose and 2 would be the second dose after two months of the first dose. From 15 to 25 years, it should be given in three doses, 0, 2 and 6. 0 the first dose, 2 the following the second month, second dose and after six months of the first dose will be the third dose. All immunocompromised category of patients should receive all the three doses. Definitely, the efficacy of the vaccine is best when it is taken as per the scheduled dosage. But still, if a woman misses the dose or a man misses the dose, should be taken as soon as it is remembered. By and large, this vaccine is safe. However, mild side effects like at the pain at the injection site, irritation, nausea, vomiting can still be documented. Pregnant women or the population who are having high risk uh, for uh, long-term diseases, chronic diseases should not be taking the vaccine. Also, the population who are having allergy to the latex yeast should not be taking it.